Hey guys, Mike and Brad here from Office of DeSiso, and today we're going to talk about what a SOC analyst is and what they do. So stay tuned. So the Security Operations Center analyst. I think we actually agree in a lot of ways with what this role is and what yep, it should do, right? Probably. So, um, SOC analysts, they live, eat, and sleep in the security operations center, right? That's yeah. where they're they're going to stay. And they're <clears throat> the best way for me to put it is security devices, whether they're detection, prevention, alerting, whatever, they generate a lot of noise. And SOC analysts' primary responsibility is to help weed through that noise and minutia, whether it's um, doing workflows to get rid of stuff that's not really important in whatever tools we're using, or if it's actually looking at the stuff and providing details to the cybersecurity engineers and the, the SOC manager about potential events, right? So. Yeah. Yeah, and, and a lot of times the SOC analysts, there'll be multiple levels of SOC analysts. Um, the, the level one guys tend to be the ones that deal with the most um, most noise, and they'll, um, they'll hone that down to a handful of actionable events and hand them up to level two analysts who will uh, triage and determine whether or not those events are worthy of being upgraded to an incident or, or, or not. Um, and I, I've seen upwards of three levels in a, in a SOC before. Uh, mostly though, it's levels one and two analysis going on. Um, and th those poor guys, I mean, they're, they're in it day in and day out, looking at, looking at log data, uh, drowning in it all day every day trying to keep us safe. Yeah. I don't, if, if you're new to information security or cyber security, you know that <clears throat> everything that happens on a computer, a switch, an access point, it generates an, a log. It all chatters, yeah. It all makes a whole bunch of noise. Mm -hmm. And it sends, if you're, if you're more mature in your process, you send those logs to a tool like Splunk or Logarithm or Devo or something like that, right? Yeah. Um, and then at that point, you're pretty much drinking from a fire hydrant until you get it tuned and you get a lot of that out of there. And that's really what a SOC analyst is doing. And like you said, I usually see two roles, SOC 1, SOC 2. Yeah. Because once you get past the SOC 2, you're, you're looking more so at kind of a, an engineer, if you will, someone sure. that's a little bit more technical and less loggy. But if you've never actually dove in and spent all day looking at logs, oh man, bless it. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's painful. Rough. It's so. It takes a special person. Um, again, a, a bunch of guys that, that are critical to the organization, that know what they're doing, and have a tolerance for that that level of detail all day, every day. Mm -hmm. um, it's mind-numbing. And they, it's it's the role that you really cut your teeth on when you're yeah. getting into cybersecurity, right? Yeah, yeah, I'd, I'd say so. A lot, a lot of folks will come up through a network path, but it, again, I think in my opinion, most people need to go through a SOC role to really get security. Yep. Yeah. Especially, we're big on earning your keep, right? And oh, yeah. I know one of the biggest things, especially in the military, right? So you have enlisted and officers. If you go to college, you can go straight to officer school, and you come out a second lieutenant, and you think you're big boss because technically you're above the enlisted folks on the rank, yeah. but the, the enlisted folks have more time. Right. They've got more experience. And I kind of see that as this. You can come in through the network path or the programming path and become a cybersecurity engineer right away. Or step into a CISO role directly or step, out of with exactly. a master's in security or, or something. Oh yeah, step into a, security, a CISO role or an ISO role. But if you haven't cut your teeth and got your foot in the door at an analyst role or something like that, you may be frowned on because people feel like maybe you didn't earn your keep a little bit. Well, that and you, you may be burdening your SOC analyst with work that you don't understand. You oh, don't yeah. You really understand the depth of what you're asking them to do. Um, you have no idea what it's like to stare at logs for eight hours for a day. For eight hours a day, yeah. <laughs> so when your SOC analyst wigs out, right. has to take a day off, you can be more accepting and understanding. <laughs> so that's what a SOC analyst is, at least in our organizations. Mm -hmm. uh, if you have any questions or comments about that, please post them below. Otherwise, if you like the video, hit like. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe because we'd love to you know, keep showing you new stuff.
So until next time, stay tuned. Thank <laughs> you.